My name is Owen Bellamy. I'm a 2022 committed to Chowan University. I'm a catcher, pitcher, infielder, kind of everything. Um, and this is a day in the life. Um, what age I got into baseball? Um, it was about four, and um, played my first game in jeans. Both my parents weren't athletes. My dad was cross country. My mom was band and swim. So I don't really know what got me into baseball. I just fell in love with it. Um, what made me pick Chowan? Uh, my brother's there. Um, it's a small town. I like it. Um, they compete against good teams. I'm going to be playing Barton, North Greenville, Pembroke, all those guys. Um, there's some good programs in that conference. It's the best conference in D2. Um, and just the, I've developed a coach with uh, a, a bond with Coach Hill. Uh, he's a great guy, great coach. And I don't know, I took a tour there and I just fell in love with it. Um, yeah, I mean, you get people making fun of you for going D2. Um, you get people, you know, when you get out, when you strike out, people make fun of you. But, I mean, you just can't let it get to you because, you know, obviously you're talented enough to go to college like baseball. So, you know, people can make fun of you how, however much they want, but you know that you put in the work and you put in the effort and you have the talent to go play there. So, um, yeah, there's kind of pressure for you to perform well in high school, but... Um, you just can't let it get to your head. Um, my greatest strength, I'd say, is my pitching. I mean, guys don't like to hit off me because I got that three-quarter arm slot and arm side run, so. Uh, I feel like I just get outs. Um, I feel like pitching is definitely my, my number one aspect. Um, my, my weakness, I'd say, my temper. Um, I like to get in trouble with umpires and get ejected, so. Um, yeah, also outside fastballs. I'd say that as well. So.
Uh, my top three favorite players, definitely number one, Jose Ramirez. Guardians fan for life. Fan, whole family's from Cleveland, so Jose Ramirez, the GOAT, generational talent, best player in the league. Um, I'd say Juan Soto, just because he doesn't get out. He's always on base. Always competes in every at-bat. And uh, I'll go Emmanuel Classe. I mean, who doesn't love an 102 mile an hour cutter? And that's just ridiculous. Uh, superstitions and rituals always got to have a rain energy um, rain energy I'm gonna be in college next year sponsor me please um, pre-workout before I go on the mound that's a must even though you feel like you're gonna throw up you throw gas um, velo slaps from my guy Liam always got to get back slaps before you pitch and yeah that's it Uh, favorite memory, I'd say probably uh, going undefeated last year was cool, but I mean, we lost in the first round of the playoffs, so can't really say that. This year was really fun. I mean, we had our ups and downs, played some really good competition, um, made it to the third round and lost to a very good South Brunswick team. So um, I'd say, I'd say probably catching Matthew's perfect game in the, uh, Regular season, that was pretty cool. We all dogpiled them and threw water on them. It's pretty fun. Um, my advice, just email coaches, um, don't go to camps that, you know, there aren't going to be a lot of co different colleges at. Um, make sure you're at camps where there's multiple coaches there. Um, update your numbers every couple months, you know, go to a camp, get updated numbers. And um, just choose a college that's right for you. Don't be stuck going D1. Because, you know, you can go to D1 and be on the JV team or the scout practice team, whatever, for three years and then get one year and not even play. So don't don't focus your mind on going D1. Go somewhere where you're going to play, somewhere where you're going to compete for a spot right away. So got some hacks in the cage, hacks on the field, got some good defensive work in. Um, this has been a day in the life.